Now, I picked up this really cute Buffalo check uh, ribbon from Walmart. And you see me here cutting four strips, one foot long, and then a tiny little strip about two inches long. And I'm going to show you a really beautiful bow, okay? Hang with me. You may be able to use this bow on lots of other things. So, Okay, so you're going to end up using three of the strips like this. You're going to lap it to where you find the center. Set that to the side. I do recommend using wire for this because you can shape it and make it look so pretty. So you'll need to have three pieces that are folded, brought to the middle, barely overlapped and folded and squinched and pinched in the middle. Now... Hold that in your hand, just kind of go back and forth, making a crisscross, keeping your center point, and then use that other strip that's actually the same length, uh, one foot for this project. You can make this with any length. And you're putting it on the back and then taking a small piece of twine, wire, rope. And what you're seeing me here, I'm tying a double knot, and this is the back that you see right now. And I'm just gonna kind of pull it really tight and double knot it. And don't snip off that extra string just yet because you're going to need that to tie onto your bell. So next, take that little tiny strip. And I do this as a nice finishing center centerpiece and because it's covering up where the string was. So just wrap that pretty tight around and put your little daubs of glue. Hold down, let it get in place. Being sure not to glue your twine in place because you need your twine or wire or whatever to attach it to your bell. So you see me here, I'm just pulling that tight. And then I've got a little bit hanging over, so that's what I'm snipping off. It's just a little bit of that center piece that was a little bit too long. Okay. Then after that, you can see there, there's the back and there's your string. And then there's the front. And then you just kind of use your fingers to shape it and start pulling it out. And man, it is so pretty. The cool thing about this technique, and then I'm angling here, I'm angling the uh, ends of the bows, the tails of the bow to give you a little tail. The cool thing about that bow technique is you can use it, make any size with any size ribbon. You can add in, I use just three pieces to make the bulk of the bow, but you could do more. You could just do two, you know, really the possibilities are endless. So I'm using that technique again to wrap tape on the end of that string because I needed to get it through a tiny place. And that's all I'm doing. I'm just attaching this ribbon to the top. I absolutely love the way this looks. It's so beautiful. The last part is for you just to double knot there on top. And then I'm making a twist knot for hanging and cutting off the excess. So like I said, I'd actually made one of these before I filmed this video. And so I knew that it was going to be so fun to share with y'all. Um, finishing touch there. You see me using the end of a paintbrush just to shape my wire tails of my ribbon. Well, the perfect bow adds a nice finishing touch to any project. If you want to see the full tutorial on how I turn these plastic bells into a rusty metal goodness, you can visit HammondsNest.com. Thanks for hanging out. Bye, y'all.